Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm doing a retro glam tutorial. Here I've just done a look with the red lip, the classic option, but if you don't really enjoy a red lip look, you can also do a nude option, which I've shown here. Hope you enjoy the video. First of all, I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I'm just gonna put that onto my lid and a little bit into my eyebrows. I always do this step. 228 crease from Zoe. And then I'm taking a shadow called Heaven from the Naturalized palette from Too Faced. And I'm just gonna buff that onto the lid to set it. Then I'm taking the Naked Basics palette from Urban Decay and the shade Naked 2 on a 228 defined crease brush. And I'm just buffing this into the crease and just gradually building it up until you get the right colour. Taking Nudie and putting that on the same brush. Then buffing that into the crease as well, just slightly higher, just to create a little bit more shadow and depth. Then I'm taking Cashmere Bunny on the same brush and I am just buffing that into the crease. Just mainly at the bottom of the crease just to create a bit more of a dark shadow but this obviously depends on what your eye shape is like i'm taking honey butter from the natural love palette from Too faced and i'm just buffing that over the top just to give a like a smoother warmer blend because all the colors are quite cool i'm taking a tapered blending brush from look good feel better and i'm just buffing over the whole thing and the edges just to make sure there's no harsh lines clean my brushes I'm using this clean sweep makeup pad it's not very it's kind of like a color switch so I'm taking the YSL waterproof eye pencil in black and I'm just gonna smudge this on the top of my lash line so I just start with some little lines and little dots just to start building up the color doesn't have to be neat then I'm taking the luxe precise shader from Zoeva and I'm just gonna start buffing that in just really work it in little side to side motions. I'm um, just doing it from outer corner to inner corner. Then I'm taking the same pencil and I'm just running it under my waterline. Just a tight line. And then I'm just taking a little bit more of the pencil just to make it a little bit deeper in colour. And then I'm just going to buff it out again. Obviously you just get to the right colour you want and stop there. But I like it quite dark so I do that. Then I'm just tidying up with a makeup wipe, just any fallout. And that's how I sharpen up the lines to get the wing. I'm taking an Anastasia 7B brush and the colour Stiletto. And I'm just going to start marking out the wing liner with the eyeshadow. Just gradually, it's much easier if you do it with a shadow first, just so that if you make a mistake, you can just blend it away. And then just keep working it up until you've got the right shape. Then once you have, take the eyeliner on the brush and then just go over the top just to make it a bit darker. Then you get that. Then I'm taking Naked 2 on the brush and I'm just buffing again just to make sure I haven't missed anywhere. A little flat, this is a little tiny shader brush and I'm just taking WOS from that Naked Basics palette. I'm just putting this on the lid just to make it a little bit cleaner. Now for the face, I'm just starting off with Urban Decay Spray. This is the setting spray. Then I'm taking the smoothing primer from Makeup Forever and I'm just putting that on my T-zone. I don't like putting this on my cheeks, it makes it a bit dry. Then I'm taking the Vitamin Enriched Face Base from Bobbi Brown and I am literally just going to pop this on the cheeks. Like so. This is a green corrector and this is the Urban Decay one. I look pretty. Then um, all I'm doing is just putting this on my redness. If you don't have any redness, you don't really need to do this step. 
taking a buffing brush from Real Techniques and I'm just going to start buffing the green corrector in. Voila. Then taking Dior Forever Foundation and Marc Jacobs, Remarkable, which the lid's horrible. They need to put this in a pump. Put it in a pump. So, and I've mixed that together because Forever's a little bit dark for me. And then I'm just patting that onto my face, little dots, just to get it on the skin. Then taking a beauty blender and just bumping that in. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh look, oh, I'm still blending it in. Don't give up. Still going, don't give up. And ta-da. Bobbi Brown Corrector. This is in Light Bisque. And I'm just going to put this on a deluxe crease brush from Real Techniques and just put it under my eyes where it's a bit dark. Um, I don't need to put this anywhere else. And obviously, if you don't have any dark circles, you don't need to put it there. <laughs> Taking the sh Tarte Shape Tape and NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Fair Neutral in the Shape Tape and Chantilly in the Radiant Creamy. And I'm just putting a tiny bit of this Shape Tape on. Not a lot because it's really full coverage and it can get a little bit dry. So that's why I mix in the Radiant Creamy with it because it gives it a bit more luminosity and it makes it not so cakey and dry, but you still get the coverage. So now I'm just gonna start blending in my concealer with a beauty blender. Then I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Full Flawless Finish Powder and on a sponge and I'm just going to start patting that under my eyes just to set. Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and obviously as an alternative you can use the Coty Air Spun. Uh, this is the extra coverage one. It's really nice but it stinks. Oh, it's such a good powder but it smells so bad. And it goes everywhere. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent at the moment and all I'm doing is I'm just patting that all around my t-zone area especially around my nose because that's where I get really oily then back to the eyes I'm taking this little pencil brush from Zoeva and Naked 2 and I'm just gonna start buffing that on the lower lash line then I'm taking Nudie and Cashmere Bunny on the same brush and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing just start buffing it in taking a little bit of Sexpresso and I'm just doing that on the very outer part, just for a little bit of depth. Then I'm taking a Duro Fiber Face Brush from Real Techniques, and I'm just dusting off all the powder that was on there. And taking a bit of Fix Plus, just to spray on my face, just to make my skin come alive a little bit after all the baking. Shade and Light Palette from Kat Von D, or the NYX Palette. And I'm taking Contour brush from Real Techniques and the lightest contour shade from the Kat Von D palette. The one in the NYX palette is very similar to that and then I'm just buffing it out. And I like to pinch the brush just so you don't muddy up the contour. I'm taking the Body Shop bronzer in shade 01, really good for pale people. And then I'm just buffing that a little bit heavier than I normally would just because it's quite a um, like dramatic brows and like quite a full coverage face. If you like mess up your bronzer and contour, just take your powder sponge and just go around it. So options, you could use the Hourglass blushes or you can use this Max Factor one. I'm using the Max Factor one today, it's in Seductive Pink. I'm taking that on a Zoeva brush and I'm just popping that on the apples of my cheeks because I've already done my contour and my bronzer quite high. Curling those lashes. Taking this Bourjois white side of the mascara and I'm just gonna start popping that onto my lashes. This is just primes them, make sure that the mascara stays on and it's really good if you want volume. So this is the Volume de Chanel mascara and I'm putting this on first because it really does give a lot of volume, especially with this primer as well. Boom. Then I'm taking the Baby Doll from YSL and I'm just using this to brush through just to separate the lashes without using a spoolie because you're then I feel like you pull off a little bit of product. Look at those lashes. Oh, I'm pretty there. 
This is a Laura Mercier caviar stick in sugar frost and I'm just popping this on the inner waterline and a little bit on the inner corners just for a little bit of glow. This is a Tarte Skin Twinkle palette and I'm using the really pale shade and I'm just popping that on the cheekbones. Just building it up until you get the right intensity you want. This is a Primark highlighting palette, it's only five pounds, pretty good. And I'm taking one of the golden shades, I'm just popping it on my nose just so you can see. It's not bad for five pounds. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury Litchie in Pillow Talk. This is the best nude liner. I Honestly, it's the best. And I'm just lining the whole of my lips um, with that. Then I'm going to take the matching lipstick in Pillow Talk, the Matte Revolution. And I'm just going to apply that. And this is the nude option. Now, obviously, if you want to go a little more dramatic, you can use the red option. I'm just setting with this infallible setting spray. You really need to shake this because if you don't, you do get little white dots on your face. And then all I'm doing just to push this setting spray in is I'm just using my beauty blender just to go over. Now for the red option. Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in red rum. It's so bright, but it's such a nice red. Bright. Just going to get a lip brush, this is a Real Techniques lip brush, and I'm just going to start buffing that in. And then this is the red lip option. Now it's up to you, whatever one you prefer. I really hope that you enjoy this look, and please subscribe! Why do you smell so bad? I can't cope. You smell like old babies and you're in the worst packaging ever. But it look good.